today in Washington, an acute contrast from yesterday. Then, official Washington was leaking vast quantities of information on what was going on in the hostage crisis. Today, nothing. No single government agency prepared to say one public word on what's happening. Every door that was open yesterday, today firmly shut. Every official saying what the Senate Foreign Relations Chairman said after seeing the President. I just have no comment at all about that. Did it come up? I just have no comment. You know, Private conversations on White House doorsteps, running cameramen searching for more than that, journalists on footpaths waiting for hints, others under trees resigned to hearing nothing. Even this moment, the president addressing a group vying to become the first teacher in space, found blanket media coverage searching for hostage implications. And all Mr. Reagan would say... I gotta get back to the Oval Office. <laughs> Thanks very much. And why? Because the indications from Mr. Reagan's State Department are that there is movement in Israel on the Shiite prisoners, and a conviction that this man, President Assad of Syria, is now bringing his vast influence to bear upon those who hold the hostages. As if to underline it, former presidential candidate Jesse Jackson, who successfully negotiated with Assad for the release of an American pilot, was summoned back again to the State Department today by the hostage task force. But for now, no one graces the White House microphones, there is merely the private sense beyond that yesterday's noise here either coincided with or triggered a change of heart in Beirut. John Snow, News at 10, Washington.